Oh my gosh. There we go. Hi everyone. Sandra from Scraps of Beauty. And it is Sunday night. And we are going to be playing with Jane's new fairy paint, uh, fairy dust pigments. There we are. Hi, bro. Hi, Julie. <laughs> So I created uh, the first 40, and you can see I still have, well, actually 50, I, but the, the other, these I just did today, and they're not quite dry yet. Hi, Joan. Um, and all that's left now is just the um, the lighter ones, uh, like holographic they are. Let's see they're like. So I have nine more to go, and then I can, I'll have them. So it's these, the ones you can see here that's just like, they look like they're just white powder, but they have different, yo, yeah, Joyce. So, actually, you can see them here now. So, these are the greens. You can see them, how shimmery they are. And they have a lot of sparkle. Um, I don't know if you can see. I think in the pinks, you can see it a lot better. Like this, this one here is the gold. And then the other one's got some silver. This one's got like a purple sheen to it. There we go. Hey, Lori. And then these are the ones I did today that are still, these are kind of metallic, gold, copper, silver. This is kind of like a rose gold. There we go. Hey, Karen. Thanks. Hi, hey, Linda. Oh, you're welcome. You got it? Good. <laughs> so, and then I only did this first one. I wanted to do this one because we're going to do a fairy, and I wanted to use it for fairy wings. And then you can see this is the Paul Rubin glitter paper. So you can see that. If you're wondering what all this glitter is on the other side, that's the Paul Rubin glitter paper. All right, and then I'm going to use Jane's um, new stamp. I tried it first with the big head and the little head, so I don't know. I'm going to make, oh, and here they are there. Here's this one. You can see them all in their cute little palettes. I love these palettes. And what's nice about them, they open like a book. So if you have them on your desk, you can fit one inside the other and you can put them all like that so I could have those up there and you'd have like 60 colors right in front of you so that was nice and they dry pretty nice you can see here I did them there the only one is I wish you would have switched these out these two seem very similar um, when you put them on paper I was really hoping she'd have done a, a opera rose color but um um, I'm trying to see. And this one, I might put too much. See how shiny that is? I might put too much honey in that one. So we'll see. Um, so we're gonna oh, so we're gonna paint with them today. So I'll put those there. And so I actually did one. I'm gonna make this my Christmas card for this year. So I put her with the big face. Hi, Patty. And I didn't like her. And then I did one with the smaller face. And I kind of like the bigger face better. <laughs> So I don't know. Um, Jane's doing a prompt, a uh, Christmas prompt. I think like it, she did last year, just 12 days. And so um, she's going to do fairy. So I want to, um, I was looking for my fairy journal. And I couldn't find it. So I had to, hey, Patty. I had to, um, I was going to do it on this paper and then I'll slip it in. Uh, either I'll put it in Jane's watercolor journal or I'll find my fairy one. But um, since we're just testing, I figure since this is going to be my card, we'll do it with this. And then I'll have her hang some type of ornament. And I'll say, a very Merry Christmas. <laughs> so, but before we do all that, I did get some new um, paints. And uh, if you watched Patty, um, Inky Obsession here, she was swatching out inks. Oh, my gosh. Now I want now I want to go there and get all those inks, Patty. <laughs> she had bought some little sampler inks for your pens. Oh, thanks, Julie. Um, and some of the colors are really uh, cool because they um, have different colors in them. I love the blues, of course. And I think that one, that one that looked like opera pink, that one was really nice. All right, so I'm going to put these over here. So um, before we get started, at least they aren't too expensive. Oh, that's good for the samples. I'll have to go look. Um but this is one of those little Strathmore watercolor journals I got at uh, Walmart. Um, uh, when I went to Jerry's, I did get these. These are limited edition. 
if you saw uh, Alonia, Alonia uh, I never say her name right, <laughs> Alonia um, here on uh, YouTube, she got the limited edition. She got the the winner. I think it was a winner one. I got the Deep Sea, which this is probably what you'll like, Patty. <laughs> and I got the Galaxy. They're limited edition, and they come in these cute little box. But I got them because they are made specially for granulation. It says super granulation. So we'll see. We'll see how how much they are. Uh, how much they uh, she did and hers. I thought I would. I think a couple of them didn't really granulate that much. But you can. Um, you wanted to get those? Look, I only have angel tubes. Uh, you got to go to Jackson's. Uh, Jackson's um, is it Art Supply, and they have it on special. I don't know if the special. I think the special is still on. I want to say you got this little box. So there's six of them. Six, five. I want to say there were either 59 or 62. I can't remember. Hi, Libby. And so, you know, you got the box. They were out of stock. Where? Jackson? Really? <coughs> yeah, they must have gone fast then. Uh, let me get my scissors. So I figure we'll just swatch these real quick just to see what they look like before we start playing. And was after she swatched, after Alonia swatched the uh, other ones, I was like, oh, darn, maybe I should have got that one. <laughs> so for five tubes, what did you pay two on Blitz? Really? So you mean $59? So two of them are $25 each. So they're $50 just for two. Wow. But I love the cute little box. Isn't it cute? And it's got the cute little wooden, and then it's got the tubes. Well, Patty, I if, I can always swatch, put out pants for you. I mean, it'll take me a lifetime to use all these. So let me know. And if you want, I will um, swatch these out for you. I'll put them in a pan. I have the other one, the blue silver. Um, it's almost dry. So then I can send you um, the pipettes and that. So the Glacier Deep Set and the Galaxy. Yeah. Yeah. I want, I love the galaxy, so we'll see what those colors are. Hey, Kathy. <laughs> so let's see, we'll do, let's do the, uh, this one, the deep sea one. I can't remember what the third, was the third one the winter one? I can't remember. I can't remember which one she swatched out, but I figure we'll just put them in here really quick and just swatch them and see how they go. So I should have brought my other brush too. I have a, a new brush, so I'm going to try this one. So I guess I did get that nib from Jackson's, but I think this is the one Thea uh, recommends. Patty got a new nib for doing her uh, ink. So. Uh, that was not looking at them or anything. <laughs> Sorry for the noise. Yeah, see, this is the one Patty was swatching her inks with this type of nib. So, so I have that one to uh, do when I when I order those inks. <laughs> All right, and so then this is this is the six inch. I think this is the Skoda Travel. Yeah, so you can see that. Yeah. So this is the six inch, and of course my camera's not going to focus. So. I don't have autofocus on. That's actually different than the, oh, it's different than the automatic pen. Really? Because they look the same. Hey, Teresa. Um, this is the one Thea recommends. Um, so let me, oh, you know what? I didn't get any new water. Uh, I might have to get water. And she also recommends that for your brushes, you know, I usually go down to the bottom of the jar and then like, Wish the glue out of them. She says you really shouldn't do that, you know, because it ruins the shape of your um, brush. That you should, when you wipe, when you go with the water like that, you should just rub it off on the side like this, not go down deep and then like do that. Oh, the nib shape is different. Oh, we'll see. So really, that's how you should. You should never go to the bottom. She says, and um, this is a good brush, so we'll see how it works. All right, so. All right, so for the deep sea, 
So I'll make these for you, Patty. Merry Christmas. <laughs> and so it'll take probably till Friday to dry. So I'll probably ship them maybe Saturday. Uh, let's write it down really quick. I need a pen. I should actually use my dip pen, shouldn't I? <laughs> um, let's see. Do I have an ink here? Uh, let's see. I'll just use this. I don't even know what this is. I got it in a... Oh, this has a little gold in it. Uh, hi, Kimberly. How did you guys survive uh, Thanksgiving? Good. And I didn't mix it up really well either, so we'll see. It's not going to get the sparkle out of it. I just want to write down which these are. All right, so this is going to be... High Feast Violet. I don't know. Ooh, you don't like that scratching. This might be my my other nib. One of them scratches a lot and the other one doesn't. T I E F. Yeah, this one scratches too much. Let me see if I can get the other one. Do I have another one in here? Um if not, I'll just do it with my regular pen. Mm, no. I have all my other nibs in the other room because I've been practicing while I'm watching TV. <laughs> You're crafting too? Okay. Um, oh, whatever. I'll just use this. I use Jane's pen. Really violet. Probably could see it better with the ink. This is going to be the indigo. Um, this will be just be just the blue. Uh, grun, which I'm assuming is green, and Schwartz. All right. So I'm just going to put a little dab on here. Hi, Norma. So we can just see. Ooh, that might even be too much. Hey, Darcy. Oh, I got blue all over me already. That's way too much. Too much, too. Ugh. Need a wipe. Oh, I wanted to show you, too. I'll show you. Okay. All right, so I really need clean water, but uh, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> All right, so kind of mix this up. And then I'm just going to add water at the end here. So that we can see how this, how much it does granulate. Oh, not enough water. And we'll see how it looks when it dries. Oh, I never put enough water. There we go. This violet looks like it's got black and violet in it. 
Watercolor paper, yes, it is. It's Strathmore. Um, I'll look. I'll flip it in a second. I think it's the 140. Pretty sure it's 140. Now this is, says. I thought it was green. It's Grun. I don't. I don't know if that's German. definitely use too much here so I'm just gonna take a little bit of it all right so this is uh, yeah 140 pounds Strathmore so that's what it looks like now so we'll see how that dries. And then I probably should add a little more water at the bottom here. Let's see, let's see if we can get it to really granulate. This is a pretty color, this one. This bluish green. So there we go. So that's that one. So that's the set. Grun is German. It is for green. It doesn't, Martha told you on your stream. Oh, it is. It doesn't look green, though. It looks um, blue, really. <laughs> All right. So that's that set. Let's do the galaxy one now. Hey, Jamie. Oh, and the sale for the store is still going on now that I remember. It's in Thanks 15, so the store is already 15, and then you get an extra 15. So um, you actually get 30 off on the whole store. And it's good until Tuesday at 12 o'clock midnight. All right, so this one is, I'll put it on this side. Galaxy Rose. Well, they're all Galaxy, so this one is Rosa. This one is violet. Two T's. This one is hmm, blue. This one is brown. And then maybe we'll mix a couple and um, black. Thanks, Patty. Yeah. 15, yeah. Good till, yeah, Tuesday. All right, so this is Rosa. Violet. Some of, it's, some of it, the, um, the medium is coming out on top. This will be fun to do a galaxy with. Ooh, that's too much. Ooh. Oh no. Don't go far. I dropped it. Hold on. Oh, at least didn't roll all the way under. <laughs> all right. All right, so let's see what these are. This is a nice brush. I like the... Uh, It's very light. I was I thought it would feel um, heavy, but it's super light. That's really nice. And I got that from Jackson's. I'm just mixing the uh, the medium up. Now, 
Now, when they're saying super, I don't really know that much about watercolors, you know. So when they're saying it's super granulating, to me, I don't know. It doesn't look granulating, <laughs> super granulating. So what does that actually mean, you know? <laughs> I put way too much on this one. Blacks really do move quick. I like the color brown. It's a nice brown. All right, so that's the galaxy one. Can you see that one there? So let that dry, and then I'm going to add a little bit more water at the bottom of these, like I did the other one, and see how that runs. So is it super granulating just so it means that if the, it runs? See, it does run quick when you put water on there right away. Yeah, these are new colors. They're called, um, they're limited edition, um, Kathy, from Schminky. Schmink, Schmink. <laughs> um, limited edition. It, there's three of them. I only got two. This one is called uh, Deep Sea. The one that we're doing now, that's called the Galaxy. And they come in these cute little um, boxes. I got them off of Jackson's. Um, but they come in these cute little boxes. Isn't that cute? <laughs> and they're limited edition. So. But they're supposed to be super granulations. That's what it says. So what does that mean? Because I'm expecting it when they say granulation, like it's supposed to be like really dispersed. You know? So, But like I said, I'm not really all familiar with that so we'll see how it goes all right let's see whoops stuck here we'll see how it dries but i could see the violet now oops so that goes everything can you see the violet it is granulating into like a black like a blue and a purple so maybe it is when we when it dries we'll see think it's like the distract oxides maybe Hold on, I've got a little Crabalanche here. Talking about Crabalanche. See, Paula was on this weekend? This week? That was good to see her. Hold on. There we go. Crabalanche is the texture in it. Yeah, I don't know. To me, I don't see the texture. <laughs> Pigment separates into clumps. Okay. All right. Well, so we'll see when it dries how they how they hold up. So I did want to show you um, when I was doing my um, pigments. Oh, let me close this. Hold on. It's not closed. There we go. Um, when I was doing the pigments from Jane's Fairy Dust uh, pigments. Mm -hmm. I swatched, because I, I use every little bit of the um, watercolor, so what was left on the palette, I actually swatched because I turned these into cards, I mean, into tags for this shop. So I thought I'll show you this shimmer. It's not smooth with dry, rough with variegations of deep color. Okay, well, we'll check it out. So can I only put the autofocus on for this because, hold on a second, you won't be able to really know, see, appreciate it. <sighs> I'm not looking at the chat yet. Hold on. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so Paul was on. She was on for a couple hours in her, what did she call it? Her deep end of her room. <laughs> that was fun watching her. Um, and then who else? I haven't seen CB, so I hope she's all right. And I haven't seen Eileen in a while. What's, what's going on with these ladies? Uh, all right, let's see. Let me put the autofocus on this way. I can show you the brush, too. Um, so you can, in case you're interested in it. I had taken a class with um, 
Escoda. And so how they make their brushes, they're from Spain. They're, it's very interesting how they do it. All right. So where's my brush now? There it is. All right. So here is, let's see if I can get it to focus. There we go. Escoda number six, Rizuri. It's very light. It's, I like it. It's very light. All right. Um, all right, so I want to see. To be, yeah, she's very busy. I know she's been having to take care of her husband and the dogs, and she said she hasn't really been. But how about Eileen? I haven't seen Eileen in a while. So can you see the shimmer there? There you can see it. In the shade, I have a shadow. So you can see the shimmer. Her paints have a lot, a lot of shimmer. So if you like glitter and shimmer, you can see that there. Black, black doesn't have anything. I want to find one. Here's the gold. Can you see? Look at all that glitter in the gold. Yeah, that one. And then this one's kind of like a, a coppery. It has more gold and copper together. This one is like the rose gold. Can you see that one there? It's very shimmery. Let's see. There we go. So if you saw my stream last week, you could see how I um, put them together. There we go. So I only have 10 more to do. It took a long time because I can't really move my arm. Oh, this, I think, is my favorite. This has got pink and gold together. Isn't that pretty? I love that one. And then this one's also pink with some shimmer. You can see that there. There you go. But like I said, I was hoping for a really, really... Uh, rose gold so maybe she's doing some neons or something that one's really shimmery too can you see that you love the pink and gold I do too Julie and this one's pretty too it's like a copper color and then this one's got um, bright pink in it there you can see that there and these have these have a little bit of glitter I don't know if you could see see the glitter in there or not very shimmery and like I said, and th this was like um, that, like I dumped everything into the pan. And so this was just what was lying on top of here. And I just took it up with water. So it's even weaker than it actually is. You know what I mean? So oh, this is another. I love the pinks. Look at this pink here. Look at that shimmer right there. Look at that. Oh, it's really pretty. And then there's. There, that one's got a little bit of gold like in it, just a tad. You can see that there. Not the pinks. And then this purple. I did I had so much purple. I, I think this is the one I did all. Is this one? No, this isn't. But this one's got pink and purple in there for those of you who love purple. I'm not a really purple fan. Uh, but look at that one. That one's really pretty. Do you like pink and purple? That one's really nice. Then there's this one's kind of just like a lavender. And then there's that one. This one's pretty too. This one has got the shimmer. It's kind of like a silver shimmer on there. So there you can see it. That one's pretty. Pink and purple yum, right, Julie? And then this one is a really light, or I don't know if I just did it light. But you can see lots of shimmer in these fairy dust pigments. Here's another purple. And there you can see it there. It's got lots of glitter, that one. <laughs> and then this is a darker purple. See that there? I'm trying to get so you could see actually see the shimmer in there. But I hold it. There you can see it right there. That's purple. And this one I had so much on my palette. I I just can you see that? Yeah, there it is. Purple and silver. This one is. So you can get it really dark, like I just scraped the edge of the brush, and then it's really light. Um, and then the blues, I love the blues too. So here is, this one's like a minty color, purple, memory for you, is your mom's color? Yeah, I'm not a purple, purple person. I love this one, the light blue. These are Patty's colors right here, <laughs> purple, purple, blue. Um, this one too. I like this. This reminds me of like a Cinderella, Cinderella dress or something for her dress. You see that? Yeah. 
that's got a uh, shimmer and some glitter in it. Can you see that? And then there's this color too. I like this one. And this one too. This is like Cinderella's. You my like that. You can see the sparkle in that. Look at that. That blue is really pretty. Like mermaid blue. Mermaid shimmer. And then the green. This is another minty green. It's got lots of glitter and shimmer in there. So you can see that there. And then this one's pretty too. This is kind of like kind of like cascade green a little bit, where it's got green and gold in it. You can see that there. Okay, so the gold in that one. And this is another minty green. Kind of blue green and then this is the last one these these are really pretty this has got some kind of like gold in it too you can see that one there this one's like a lime green got some shimmer there and then another green like olive green <laughs> a robin's egg yeah kind of like robin's egg i would say like that's this one here this one here is kind of like robin's egg Looks more blue, but it's like a blue green. It's really pretty. So those are her 50 um, pigments, fairy dust pigments. So you can see how shimmery they are. I have to put these under a book. I was kind of disappointed in um, not in Jane's stuff, but in the paper. That you know, for the longest time we were looking for uh, the B paper, and so I, Shauna actually found it. I guess I restocked it on Amazon. But it's so thin. I don't like this. is supposed to be not. It's supposed to be 90 pounds. But see how much it curls up. I don't like this paper too much. Um, so I want to see if they have the 140 pound because the 90 pound I'm not wild about. All right. Um, so we're gonna play with these. Oh, let me take the autofocus off. We don't need that now. Mm, hold on. Uh, let's see. Focus. There we go. You like the lime color? Yeah, the lime color is pretty. All right, so we'll see how good these re-wet. I did use um, the medium, the Kramer medium, so they should re-wet pretty, you know, pretty nice, pretty quick. Um, so I'm actually going to use these. And let's see. Yeah, and so I actually swatched them. I love the little, and you can use the download um, from her site to download that. Um, what's those stamps? We don't need that. And then I'm going to have her hold an ornament. Let's see, what kind of ornament should we have her hold? I want to. I don't know. Can you see? Oh, you can see it because I do use gr a light gray pencil. So I wasn't sure that you would be able to see it on camera. And then we'll put the ornament hook in here. Uh, I'm trying to think. We don't, I don't want to circle. I think I'm going to do, because I'm going to do Fairy Merry Christmas. So I kind of want it um, kind of like a teardrop, I would say. Uh, let's see. I could use, yeah, I'll use this. And then we'll take it up. So there, so I just, just did a circle in the middle and then like a little cone or upside down triangle and then connected it like that. So there. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Hi, Angie. <laughs> you have to get what? Pigments? Yeah. 
how are you doing? I love all the stuff you do from the Dollar Tree. If you haven't seen Angie, she does a lot of um, DIY with the Dollar Tree stuff. I usually, uh, last year I made ornaments, and so I just didn't have time to do the ornaments this year. So I don't know. I was thinking about it, but then didn't. So we'll see. All right. All right. So we have that. I don't need a flesh color. I can't decide whether I want to use my Jane watercolors or layer cake. Um, let me see if I could bring you in just a notch. So I know your name. You know who, who Angie? You know? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I could bring you in a little bit closer. There we go. Oh, that's it. She's doing, um, I Gabby loves the uh, white and black checkerboard. And um, I went to Hobby Lobby, I guess a couple weeks ago, because I always send Jane a uh, mermaid ornament and they were all wiped out, all of them. Um, so I got her, I hope she doesn't mind. I got her a little tinsel one um, that I'm going to send her. So you're doing great. Yeah, you're back to mixed media art again. Oh, that's good. And still doing DIY. Good. Um, yeah, so these are jeans 50 and I still have to do the little holographic ones. Actually, the, where's the other palette? Oh, we know it's drying still, but the other palette is, um, let me see, where is it? Hold on. Well, I did get some napkins too, so maybe we can, I was thinking either we could put some snowflakes around or this. We'll see. I'm looking for my other little watch but i don't see it now anyway there's another 10 and then there's the fairy dust ones i don't know what, oh here it is well it's not really the one but there it is it's even more metallics so it actually so these are 20 40 50 and then the metallic the uh, iridescent ones so first row of color is pink or peach uh the fifth row down one two three four five this row here pink or peach this here is pink. Uh, well, this one, this is the one that's got the gold. So that's why this one is the one that's got the pink gold. So you can see it. So it looks kind of peachy, but it's um, pink gold. And then they, it goes into the oranges here. And then you can see like this one has a lot of glitter. You see how thick, how much thicker this one is here? You can see that there. It's got a lot of glitter. My gold one is the same way, um, which is drying. So I just did those while I was watching Patty. Um, all right. So um, and I think I want a border around here. So let's see. I could probably use maybe some washi tape. Well, we'll see. I don't know how far we're going to get. Um, there we go. All right, that's her. That's the other one there. We'll leave the metallics. As I do want to use the fairy uh, dust one for the wings. I have to put wings on her still. So we'll see. This can't. Looking for my other. I must have fell. Hold on. I'm just looking for my other little palette that was here. I must have fallen. Hold on. No, I don't see it right now. All right. Um, so I think, as I don't know where my Jane watercolors are, so let's do um, let's do the layer cake ones. Let me use my new brush. So I hope everyone had a good Thanksgiving. This one. So here's my little palette. This is the palette that I made in Jane's class, her layer cake class. So I actually took the die. This is one of her dies, and I pushed it into um, Crayola um, paper clay. 
buried in the leftovers. <laughs> we don't have too much. We didn't get a big turkey because Gab doesn't really like turkey, and uh, I'm I'm okay with it. But um, so we I think we have enough for yesterday, and then that was it. And then Jimmy actually went out and fishing, help his buddy put his boat away, um, and they actually caught um, striper. So we're actually gonna have tacos when I get off. All right, let's see here. Oh, that's the hair. That's the hair. I love, you can use these like acrylics. I think Jane uses them like acrylics. I like using them more like watercolor. And then, let's see. I love your drawing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> this was Jane's new stamp. Um, I actually did it with the, the big head. Well, not the big head. This is the big head. And then this is the medium one and then the little one. And then I didn't like it with the big head. And so, oh, here it is. He's looking for my other fairy eyes. And that's a fairy we're going to use for the wings, the glittery one. Um, but then I didn't like it. Uh, so I said, oh, I'm going to draw another one and I'll use this smaller stamp. And then I don't, I don't, I mean, she's cute, but I think I like her with the bigger head better. So I'm going to use this as my Christmas card. And then when Jane comes out with her um, prompts for December, I'll use that as my cover. So. <laughs> All right, and so then let's put a little, little pink. Let me use this one here. These are some really rosy cheeks. And then um, I just, I was going to make um, her sleeve. I was going to do this one in stripes. The other one I did in, <coughs> in polka dots. So this one, I didn't put any sleeves. I just did her little cuffs on this one. And then in this one, I think I'm going to put some. Her shirt will be in stripes. And I think her, I don't know, should we do her pants in stripes as well? That's too much, I think. I think I'm just going to leave her pants solid. So we do need to do our little hands. Um, I have to cover them, too, because I don't like her hands at all. I have to practice more with the hands. You have to go to Jane's site. Would be nice if, like, like I don't have anybody in my town that um, loves watercolors, but would be there's enough. Jane has a video on her site where she poured the whole package of um, pigments out in her little um, jars, and she actually made six of the pans. And I think she made a mermaid marker, and then she had one of her enough left over to do um, one of her art time. One of these. Um, one of these pans. So she had enough to fill one of these, six of these, and I think the marker. And then I don't, um, oh, for the stamp. Yeah. Um, she, oh, she has three, I think three new stamps. Um, but that's her new face one. And then I think come um, January, I think, don't quote me, but I think she's going to have new stencils, her own stencils. She has some stencils. Oh, we need to do her body. Um, she has some stencils, uh, that aren't hers, but she's working with the stencil company. And so she's going to, let me read some of this.
She's going to be making her own stencils. So that's good. I was still waiting. I was hoping that in this batch, my she had said she was going to send me one of her cat litter um, boxes that she's been um, getting and putting her art supplies in, but didn't come. So I'm hoping I have one more parcel coming from her. So, um, so I've never done, uh, she's got their new wooden, um, wood carving, um, on her site. And so I got that. So we'll be doing some wood carving. I know Mary, Mary, um, does a lot of her own, um, wood carving, not wood carving, you know, stamp carving. And, uh, so we're going to try that. I know Julie Fay Fan Balls are in December. She does a lot of, um stamping carving her own stamps and stuff so we'll try that i've never done it so <laughs> we'll see how that goes mm -hmm. let's erase some of these lines not erase it but i don't want it as dark that's like really dark i have to put a shadow or something there like I said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, probably shrink these downs and then send out them for my Christmas cards. Uh, water. There we go. Cute. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Have any of you guys done that uh, carving your own stamps? I think I've seen, I've only seen Mary do it. I don't know if anybody else, I know Paula, Paula and Dee Dee does it. Dee Dee has done it. Uh, what else do we want to add on here? I think I'm going, let's try some of Jane's paints now. So I think I'm going to try this turquoise one. Oh, yeah, it rewicks really nice. Can you see that? I'm going to put that in here. I think we're going to give her some blue hair. See how this goes. And some blue eyeshadow. So her hair is... And I want to get rid of these lines. Should have got rid of those lines. Um, I'll give her some blue here. There we go. What do you mean when you see me carve? Jamie, have you carved? I haven't seen you carved. I don't think I have. I'm trying to think if I have or not. What was the stamp that you've done? Did you do one of yourself? I can't remember now. Uh, what should we put? Let's do one of the, let's do this blue. Oh, this has got some nice glitter in it. Oh, that's too dark. Cassie? <laughs> oh, sadly. Oh, I'm sorry, Jamie. I don't think I have. Which one did I pick? This one. She has a funky female. Who is? My girl? Mm 
You can see the shimmer in that, though. You see? The shimmer? Mm, I don't know if the auto... Oh, there you go. See how you can see the shimmer there. Pretty, isn't it? Yes, you carved one once a month or two ago. Huh. I'll have to go back and look now. I don't remember. Uh... Let's see, we need a little bit more on her. I think I'm going to use that puff, you know, last year where you can put that stuff on and then heat it with the uh, heat gun and then have it puff up. I think that's what I'm going to do for her hat. There we go. That's oh, pretty, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe you need to visit my channel. <laughs> I was there the other day when you did your um, oh, your pumpkin. And uh, what else? I've been there a couple times. <laughs> hi, well, hi, Janice. <laughs> hi, Kimberly. It's looking cute. All right, so now we need a red. So I think we're going to put this glitter red. Let me look at my thing here. Oh, that's this one. Oh, this one is more red. Well, there you go, this one. Well, let's do that, and then we'll add a little bit of that glitter. <laughs> mm. I leave comments when, under videos when I'm there. All right, so they're going to uh, re-wet this one. Uh, what should we do? Her pants in red? I guess her pants and then maybe her, her boots in green. There we go. <laughs> this is kind of more like um light pink. Uh, let's go with this. See what this is. I wanted a little bit darker red. I know you did. <laughs> You're just teasing me. Uh, let's go with this one. There we go. I like that better. That color better. My poor little Zoe. She's my little Yorkie. She's the crazy one. She jumped off a... Uh, the ledge and hurt her back leg and she's limping around and you can't put her can't get that dog to uh, stay still oh my god she's terrible I need to do little berries I'll do some berries on her There we go. Uh, <laughs> so usually I put my tree up. I haven't even got to go my tree. I have to do that this week. What color do we say we're doing the pants? Red? Then what about her? Maybe we do candy stripe for her. Let's put a little bit more red in here. I actually picked this right up, didn't I? Uh, we're going to do pants red.
smell. It's really staining, huh? I think I'll do her shirt a red and white. Is your little palette thing? What is your little palette thing I'm using? This? This one here? She is one of Jane's dyes. And in uh, one of her uh, her layer cake uh, workshop, we actually took uh, Crayola clay. <clears throat> and we um, I pressed the dye in there. And then I dug out. I wish we could see that. I dug out the, the weld in her hair. So I've got like one here, 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 here. And then I colored it and then uh, baked it. Yeah, didn't come out cute. And then I used her finishing line pens, her markers um, to uh, color her up. Yeah, cute. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, so we'll see, we're gonna go red, white, red. Let's try that. Red, white, red. I really like this brush, I have to say. Red, red. Red. I have to stick another one in there. So cute. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I had sent Jane a um, mermaid one that I got at the dollar store. Right. And, um, and she wound up making, she made one um, using Tim Holtz's um, charms. So she actually pressed, um, I think it was like a butterfly, a flower. You'll see it in some of her videos. And um, she made her own little palette. Came out really cute. Okay, so we have that. You just subscribed to Jamie? Oh my gosh, you didn't see the stamp carving playlist. Does she have a stamp carving playlist? Jamie does some cool things. I wind up last year for New Year's, she went to, was it Walmart, Jamie, where you got the champagne um, bottles filled with chocolate? I wind up getting Jimmy to go get me two of them, and I never did anything with it. So maybe this year <laughs> we'll do something with it for, um, we'll do something for, New Year's. All right, so we need some green. So let's see. I'm going to go with, let's go with this lighter green. Yeah, so they re-wet really nicely. Let's see. So I'm going to go with this lighter green first. And then we'll um, go back in here with some darker green. Try this one. You're excited to watch. <laughs> I see Mary do. She's carved some of her dogs. They look really cool. And Dee Dee. Dee Dee's done quite a few of them. She does her little bee.
it's hard to uh, paint and talk at the same time. Yes, the bottles. Uh, just did a square bottle video. Oh, I haven't seen that. It went up Friday. Yeah, they were cool, those. All right, and I think I'm going to do her boots green as well. Let's do that. And we have to put her wings on here too still. So nice. This is almost like painting with um, some of Paul Rubin's um, glitter paints. I'm all about the shimmer. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. Then I'll come back in with some colored pencils too later on. So that's what she looks like so ready. Does she look cute? <laughs> They're little boots. <laughs> uh, you just got the set of stamps. The face ones you did? Yeah. So that's a big one. And then here is, you can see, compared to the little one. That's the little one. So I did her again so that her body, because her face really should be like half of her from her her uh, boobs to her waist. Um, but that's why I thought it was big, too big. But I kind of like the bigger head. <laughs> Thanks, Joan. <laughs> um, and then we need to put a green. I need a dark green. Or we could do a, um, a gold. I think I'm going to put green. A green. Uh, You know, the hooks for the Christmas tree, it's usually green. Oops. Uh, oh, thanks. Thanks, Julie. <laughs> so Jane came out with some new butterfly um, bottles for your inks. Have you seen that yet, Patty? <laughs> oh, I always have to show Patty. Um, but they're cute little um, butterfly. I'm hoping that she does a thing tonight. She said she was going to do it. <clears throat> um, and what, what should we do with the ornament? I'm trying to think what color to do the ornament. Uh, let's see what else. I think we need more lip color. Let's try this one. This pink one. I put a little pink in her eye there. <clears throat> I just looked at the website. Jane is. Is she in England? No, she's in Australia. Do you love to see the. What watercolor? The Ashka. Ashka. What is that, <laughs> Julie? <laughs> I don't know what that is. Oh, and I have my finishing line pens in the other. What do we have? What about 
10 more minutes. I'm going to do the background too. It's not going to be all the way finished. So I'll have to finish here. The color for the ornament though. I'm thinking maybe if we should do a gold. A gold ornament. Do you carry her glass pen? No. All her stuff is exclusive to her. So um, that's why if you can get together with a couple of friends and then place an order, um, you know, you could do that. Yeah. Yeah, I put, uh, this is just the plastic one that I have on my desk just for, um, I put um, my glass one and this is her little wave holder that comes with her glass um, pen. But I have that on my desk because I'm always afraid that with the little tail that it, you just need to like roll it. I don't want it to break. <laughs> so, um, my gold really isn't quite dry of uh, jeans. Trying to think what other gold I have here I can use. Because I just mixed it today. Uh, let me see. Oh, well, before I forget, let's see how this is doing, the granulation. So I can only see this, this one here, the violet, that one's really, can you see it? Purple, let me put that autofocus back on. That's what I figured in your pens are much smoother. Um, I was um, talking about the pens because, hold on a second. Uh, I mentioned in uh, one of my streams that the, she was, Patty was saying how it holds so much ink because do you see the way, I don't have my, I can't get uh, Jane's, but. Can you see this? Let's see if I put the autofocus on there. You see how the lines are straight? So this is not going to hold a lot of liquid because it's going to come straight out. Where Jane's, her um, tip, it spirals. So it spirals like that. And so as her ink is coming down, it's coming down at a slower rate. Where this, you could see that this is going to come out a lot faster. So when you're looking at glass pens, dip pens, make, be sure to look at this part because each one is different and you'll get a different effect. So uh, she just she just appeared in Mandalorian. Mandalorian. Oh, is she from Oh Star Wars? Oh, I don't know who she is. Uh, so, yeah, so when you're looking at the pens, um, the glass ones, be sure to check that out. So, yeah. No, you're welcome. All right, so here is the granulation. Let's do this one first. So can you see that? There you go. That does granulate. So it goes from like a deep black to like a violet to like a blue. Now, this one, the indigo, I don't really see unless I didn't put too much. Maybe you have to add more paint i'm not really sure so um like i said i'm not a watercolor expert or anything so for granulation like i don't see it really separating or texture this one does this one kind of does it's got like a dark blue to a blue to like fading off there and this is the black the black here it's kind of like almost like going towards a gray black and gray so you love the granulation, Joan? And here's the other one, the galaxy one. So there is the rose color. You can see that there. And there's the violet one. I'll have to swatch them again on bigger and then, like, mix them up, too, so that we can um, play around with them and see. I really like the brown. I like the color brown. You see that girl there? Granulations are textured, not different colors necessarily. Okay. Well... Do you see texture? I see texture in that blue one right there. There's texture there. Not so much there. There's texture there in the black one. Um, and this one black is kind of like more like April's like paint gray. It's like a, a blue. It has a lot of blue in it for being black. And there's the brown. I like the way that granulates. That separates there. That blue is separating. And then there's a violet, and that has a lot of blue in it and, like, violet in it. There, you can see that there. So we'll have to play with that. I'd like to do the galaxy one, so maybe we'll do kind of a galaxy Christmas or something like that. 
so we'll see. Um, and uh, those of you um, who know April in the chat, she's a, a little creative me. She's got some new, I love the palette. She's got a palette, it's a leaf palette. And then it comes, it's for like a special gift. If you know somebody who really is into watercolors, um, uh, April's got these um, kits from Poland and they come in a nice wooden box and it's got a little palette. I forget what the other one. I think the other one is just the little dots. And then uh, how many are, I forget how many, 54? Is it 54 tubes, April? I forget. But you have to check out the leaf palette. I really love that one. Watercolors are gorgeous. I think I have to give myself a Christmas present. <laughs> you do, Angie. Yes, you do. So yeah, so be sure to check out April. Patty, if you could put April's Etsy if you're if you can, you can put it up in there in the chat. All right, so what time is it? I got like 10 minutes. So did we decide on this? I think I'm gonna do a gold. And I have um I have a gold that I think we'll we'll put it on there. Um, let's see. Oh, here is, this is Jane's um, color. This one's called Boo. Can you see all the glitter in that one? So it's just, you could just put it on top. Can you see that there? The glitter, it's like a silver glitter. That's what I want to use for her wings. There we go there. Thanks, Patty. There you go. Yeah, and um, April's got a good, uh, if you're just wanting to try watercolors, and her um, tubes are very inexpensive. And um, she even has um, where you can buy three, is it triads, April? I forget what it's called. I think you get three little tubes, and uh, she shows you how to mix it. It's, it's good if you just wanted to um, try out the tubes, if you were wanting to even give it to somebody. Well, I really love like that. So now let me let I have autofocus on there. We, there we go. So you can see the glitter. Can you see the red glitter in there? And then there's the green and the blue. There you go. And a little. And then in her boots, uh, there's the glitter. Well, you have to get it, Angie. <laughs> if you know somebody, it's great. I would split it with somebody because, like I said, you could do six of these little palettes. And then Jane actually showed where she took, um, it actually fills one of these pans. So what she did was she took water. Uh, you love the boots? Yeah. She took um, water uh, and filled it up in the pan and then poured it in here so that you could see that one of these half pans actually fits in that one. That was really cool to see. I really like seeing that. All right, let's see. I think, I think we'll do that in the gold and then I'll have to finish it. Um, and then I'll have to share, uh, I'll share it on Instagram or, so Patty, I did get the bigger one. <laughs> yes, I did. Because all my little nibs uh, paints won't fit in, uh, fit in that little one anymore. <laughs> the boots, you like the boots? <laughs> Although after I drew it, I was like, well, now if she's sitting, I mean, if she's standing, so her boots can't go like that. So, of course, she's a fairy. So when she stands up, her little curly cues go the other way. <laughs> and that's that's my thinking. All right, let's see. So I have this gold. Let's go with this. You knew it? <laughs> well, because I can't fit the nibs now. I've got so many of those. So, and then really, really do not let me buy any more watercolors. All right, so let's do this with the gold. So I'm going to just squirt this a little. So this is Kremer's gold. So hopefully I'm out of the rose gold, but maybe in a couple of weeks I'll have some uh, ready. So <laughs> you're laughing at me. You're laughing. Um, so I think I'm going to make this all gold. And then maybe I'll do a design on it or something. We'll see. But I want to put... Uh, and very Merry Christmas on here. Maybe I'll go back over this with Jane's because Jane's hat, her gold is a little bit chunkier.
good news is watercolors don't really, yeah, they don't go bad. It's true. I have watercolors that I took a class when oh, I can't remember. I think before Gabby was born, um, that's like 30 years and um, the tubes are still good. <laughs> So there we go. So I'm going to give her a gold buckle while we're here. Gold belt. Do I want to do anything else gold while we're here? <clears throat> all right so i'll have to decide what to do with um with the background i might just i don't know we have to put oh let's do the wings before we go let's do the wings so i need my other palette hold on So yeah, so I'm really liking these. So if you like watercolors, it was it's very fun to um, mix it. I love to see the different mixes of her um, pigments. Some of them are nice and shiny, and then when you get the ones that are mixed with the gold, it's really fun to um, to swatch it. All right, let's see. So I draw it in pencil, or should I just put them on? Let's just let's just see. Just doing it really lightly just so that I could see what I want to do. I think I need them bigger than that. She's a pretty big girl to be. I think I want them bigger. All right, so let's, I'm just going to put them in like that. And then a gold pom-pom on the hat. This one? Yeah, good. Let me do with this first. I can even do maybe this glitter. Um, this glitter on her hat. So now this, I'm going to put a little water in here just to... Because it's got chunky glitter in here, it's going to take a little bit to go. <laughs> Thanks, April. Yeah, I'm going to let it sit a little bit. All right, there it comes. I'll be excited to finish doing the rest of these. So I have these other nine to do, and then, then I'll be done. Then I'll probably work on some sprays. I don't know if I'll do mermaid markers. I'm really not, um, I don't do a lot of mermaid marker stuff. Oh, that's so nice and glittery. This would be nice. Um, this is almost like Daniel Smith's iridescent, uh, pearl iridescent. So that you can mix these with um, colors if you want to add more glitter. <laughs> And I'll have to come in here. I'll probably come in with a, a pen to define these wings. There, can you see that there? Now you can see the the wings right there. Does it still? Did I take it off autofocus? I can't remember. <laughs> oh no, I did. There we go. Come on, hold on. You can focus in there. Focus. <laughs> yep. Oh, no. 
Oh my gosh. Come on. Oh well, you can see the glitter. It's a lot of glitter. What? That focuses a little bit, not really. <laughs> but all right. So I think I'm gonna put the puffy stuff on there. So we'll see. The focus drives you crazy. No, me too. Why is that? When Dee Dee does it, it's like right or other people, they do it like even Colleen and Kathy. When they bring it right up, it focuses right away. It just like drives me crazy. I don't know why. Why we have such a hard time with it. And then I think in the background, I might just do like um, either my mermaid. Um, I have my mermaid uh, lagoon. Or I'll do a light blue. Um, a little bit lighter than this. We'll save for the background. But yeah. So it's coming along. So that'll be my Christmas card. So so when I finish it, I'll post it on um, Instagram, and hopefully I'll finish it tonight. So you're going to copy this drawing to make more cards. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, finish coloring it, and then I'm just going to copy it, you know, and send out, like, prints, you know. I'll put it on a card like that. I'm going to shrink it down to a four by six, and then I'll um, do it, yeah. <laughs> Uh, you are going to go. Yeah, I can't paint every every card. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> so this will be it. So, all right. So I'm going to say um, good night. Thanks for watching tonight. Um, don't get. Oh, it just asked me something. Hold on. Um, yeah. So have a good week, and then I will see you back here on Sunday. I'll see what we're going to do. I don't know what else we're going to do. We'll see. It was really great. Thanks, April. <laughs> All right. So then, thanks, guys, for hanging in there. Um, if you have any questions about Jane's paints, just let me know. Leave it in the comments. So thanks, Joan. Joan and Dorothy, always so good staying up. So have a great week, and I will catch you on Sunday. Don't forget about the sale. It lasts till Tuesday. Code is SANKS15. So bye, everyone. <laughs>